do a tuning battle with, or even the 97 type yeah, that's bar. What that's what I'm doing right now. That Civic Darius is one of the V8. And... <laughs> you can put a fucking V8 in that. Holy, yeah. holy shit. That sounds awesome. Hold on, I want to check it out. <laughs> oh god. Are you having a boring day? Stick an LS3 in your fucking huh? Honda <laughs> Civic. Because fuck logic. <laughs> oh my god, it's so dumb. <laughs> I, but I love it. It's gonna cost me $98,000. Holy shit. You had only like, spend like $100,000 on car mods and then you fucking put it on the drag strip. It's like the slowest car you have. Yeah. It happens to me all the time. I fucking get so mad. Like I put, I put like a 7.2 liter V8 in a, the racing engine in a Ford Bronco, and it would cost me over $120,000 in shit to upgrade it. And it fucking was like my slowest car I had. It was pretty quick, but it was like fucking slow as fuck. It was. I just did it again to a fucking Subaru, and it was absolute with $90,000. It was the slowest fucking car I had, I think. <laughs> Whoops. I'm looking at the- Okay, I bet you move those, gonna go wheelie. Oh, I still gotta do something with the P50 and the Trident. Those little micro cars they added. Those oh things... my god, I cannot stop from spinning that drag wheels on it. Drag tires on it. It's cause it weighs so oh little. God. I have- I have a Ford, um, 31 Ford Model A Coupe that I turned into a dragster. It will not stop spinning tire. Here. Oh, Fucking quick. With the V8? Yeah, the V8 and then I've got drag wheels on, I can't control it. Let me show you mine. Ugh. I'm watching this game. I kinda made my car look like it's a work in progress with Bondo and shit on it. I put it in fifth gear to take off with and I still can't stop from spinning. It's because it weighs so little. Fucking retarded, but it's so quick. How wide are your tires? I just, like, I just put my foot down in fifth gear. I have the widest it possibly could be. I'm going to turn down my um, tire pressure. Turn your tire pressure all the it's way tough. down in the back. Yeah. So I'm pretty good at tuning rear wheel drive on cars in this. Nailing. Do you reckon you could teach me a thing or two? Absolutely not. Fucking drag strip. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I'm going to do 452 kilometers an hour. Like my Ford five window coupe, it'll do almost 180 in gear three. It's awesome. It's still spinning to the shit house, but. What the hell? That's fucking absolute. Maybe you have the drag strip. That's where I'm coming. It's gonna take me a while to get there. I can't really go past this thing, otherwise it just. Fucking you know what? I'm just gonna. Into a wall. I'm gonna fast travel because trying to drive on drag tires is fucking impossible. Ooh. I reckon this car. Could hit 300 on the quarter mile. With the proper tuning, yeah. 
That's a pretty quick car in this game, 300 kilometers an hour and a quarter mile. I've only got one car that does it. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. Where are you at? I'm coming, I'll just keep crashing. I don't understand, it shouldn't spin off the line so hard. Imagine all supercharged, how much, fuck, how much more fucked it'd be. Like, I can do 182 in the quarter mile in this Ford. What Ford is it? The five window coupe, the hot rod. Oh, You'll yeah, see it. That, that's, one of the, that's one of the quickest quarter mile cars in this game. I've tuned mine pretty good. Mine's pretty good to tune. Mine, I have the. I uh, took a while to tune it. I have the 5.24 dual cam V8 twin turbos. Yeah. The only thing is, I'm thinking about pulling some horsepower out of it because no matter what you do, it spins off the line. You get drag tires on it. Yeah. Just um, put your first gear like, like, like a real high ratio. Like a real oh, high. sorry. That's what I did there. I just wanna... I just wanna be a test it quickly. Oh, it hit 300. I'm not even fucking kidding with you. Oh wait, I'm not in kilometers. I forgot that about that. so easy. Yeah, I just hit 300 kilometers. Damn. Uh, your car does about 280. Well, if well, my car, that's your. Oh, that wait, that car. Yeah, sorry, yeah, that's the right one. I forgot. I forgot you had the other one. The 40, the 1940 coupe does wheelies. So cool. <laughs> yeah, I love Fords. I like fucking all the Fords in this game. I'm more of a Chevy slash Holden person. Yeah, the problem with this car, the first and second gear spin to the shit ass. I'll have a race. Even though my car does 300 at, like, on the quarter mile, I still, like, your car launches so quickly, this car spins first and second. Oh, uh, this will spin. will still probably win. This spins first, but it will not spin second. Ready? Oh, you ate me alive. Yeah, did you see how bad I spun first, second? Well, mine decided to spin second. I nearly hit the fucking wall, too. That was quick. Holy shit. I should imagine. Oh, I really want to see what I'm doing all the drives. I'm thinking about making this car all-wheel drive just to improve the launch. Now that car can be real wheel drive and fucking it won't real hard. Well, oh, come I, on. I have it in real wheel drive and this thing launches like a turd. Yeah, okay, I'll get mine. Oh, actually, I want to see if mine's an actual wheel drive. I'm pretty sure it is. I've got two. Which ones do I want to actually fucking use? Right, no, 1931 Ford 5 yeah, door coupe. Mine, yeah. Yeah, mine's in the old drive. I'll get mine out. I've tuned mine. Like, I've taken a lot of time to tune them up. I haven't driven them in a while. So, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. It's got the same engine as yours, has it? I'll tell you what, wait, do you have the whole engine upgraded? Because you might as well just, I'll just tell you what my gear ratios are, and you can put my gear ratios. Yeah, my engine and everything is all fully upgraded. Yeah, it's a, it's a 5 V, there's 5 V to V8 or whatever it is. 5.2. Yeah. I'll have a race quickly, and if yours is like that bad at launching, 
Let me show you how bad my launch is. And I kind of... It's in the pullover. I, I did that on purpose. You kept yours painted like a stock car. I painted oh, mine like a work in progress. Oh, yeah. Yours is going to eat me off the line. see a lot. Do you have your spent suspensional tune? No, not yet. Yeah, just to tune on me. One was now. Yeah, this car's one of the quickest drag cars in the game. My car still spins pretty bad, but like it's pretty quick. Hmm, I wonder something. I'll be right back. I want to try something. Because I think I have an idea to improve this car. I know it's going to be kind of sacrilegious, but let's try something. This car does 290, fucking easy. Yeah, all you gotta do is, it, mine spins, but the first gear is real high gear. You just hold it there until 160 kilometers an hour, and then you change the second. I'll tell you my gear ratios, hold on. The gearing I have on my car is, my first gear is 295. Second gear is 196, third 137, fourth 109, 88, 71. And my you, final you drives. My gear right here? Sure. My final drives at 273. My yeah, same. Mine's at 273 as well. And my first gear is 287. My second gear is 199, and my third's 1. 40, is that 49? 40, yeah, 49. 149 is third. And then fourth is 116. The rest I have a, fucking, I yeah, have a yeah. shorter first gear than you, and I still spin the shit out of it. Because mine's 295. Yeah, put yours to 287, I reckon. Like mine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try it at it's a 3.0. No, well, that's lower gear. That means you're going to spin higher. No, but it means that gear ends faster. And that'll put you yeah. in a second. Because now mine's 3 0, 2 0, 1 4, 1 10. Let's just try. Did your first gear spin the whole time? Even if you hold it? Hold on, let me see. If I let it sit on the rev limiter till like 96 miles an hour, it'll stop spinning. Yeah, this... Mine does 290... What does yours do on the quarter mile, on the kilometers? Mine does 290, easy, every time. Let me change mine to kilometers and I'll tell you. On the quarter mile, it does like... Eight seconds or something like eight flat. Two ninety one. Oh, that's pretty fun. What? How are you fuck? Let me see. I throttled it through first gear. I have my car more geared for a top speed, but I don't even get out of third gear at the end of it. I got two eighty nine that time. Yeah, okay, we'll race on season. Yours is two ninety. One Monday's 290. I thought mine was like fucking really good tune. Even though well, 291's like fucking. Like mine still could be like two meters in front of you. 
you I could probably see in front of me. Yeah, exactly. Whoops. So I kind of made mine look like a rat rod still being built. I okay. got Oh. It does a proper burnout. I've got one reverse. Look at this, look though. I'm full on the brake and the gas. The lights are gonna change. Oh fuck, hold on. We'll wait for the next lights. Here, just come up to the wall and hold on the gas. And we're going to line up with the center of the front wheels over the line. Like, center of the wheels, center of the line. Like a real drag strip. Uh, mine spun more than what it did normally. 289. Yeah, I didn't get it in there because fucking I was just spitting. I'm gonna be fucked. I ended up on the other side of the track. God, it was like pure sunny, like just before. Now it's fucking raining. I think that's why we're spinning really hard. Yeah. I'm gonna go try something real quick. I'll be right back. I'm gonna change back to my city. Sanchi. Uh, what? Sorry. No, what'd you say? I said I'm a little fatty. <laughs> what the? Nah, I was, I was counting. I was counting in Japanese. Holy fuck! I just want to fucking not spin to the shit house. This car does 300 fucking with ease. Why does it do it so easy and not spin? Because it's, it's so, so small. Okay, watch that. I'm gonna try launching second gear now. 
Honestly, when I heard you saying 300, I thought you were saying 300 miles an hour. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I don't think there's a car in this game that will do that, to be honest. No, because they basically limit you at, like, 273. They refuse to let anything do any faster than that. And it minorly pisses me off. How do people do those, um, like, the mods? Um, I don't know, but I want to know how. Remember, because in Forza Horizon 3, they I was watching a video where... This guy had a Malu, and he had, like, a full-on blower, like, sticking out of his hood. Yeah. Like, you know, the burnout cars? And he, and he had burnout smoke, like, did real, was really high burnout smoke. Yeah. The smoke, like, it was, like, a lot of smoke, not just a little bit of smoke. I got you. I reckon I'm gonna put this in fucking all-wheel drive. That's what I did. The what, the Civic? No, not the Civic yet. It's so quick, holy shit. Even though I'm spinning really badly, it's like so quick. I've got a real quick, um, Volkswagen too. Oh no. Hey. It's custom scrap grade. Oh, we'll drive. I'm pissed off now. That I have to f fucking. Okay, well, at least like I get to see which one's actually quicker. If I'll still do 300 kilometers an hour. That's a twenty thousand dollar fucking change right there. Be pissed off. Yeah, but you also have to change all the gears, gearing and shit again. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just did. That's why it's cost like twenty thousand dollars. Oh, and I weigh twenty more kilos. Wonder if that will change anything. Oh, fucking not. Twenty kilos is like nearly a hundred pounds. That'd be like sixty pounds, wouldn't it? Thirty, no, be, yeah. Twenty kilograms into pounds. The answer is 44.09 pounds. That's not much. Yeah, because they, the math is 100 pounds per tenth of a second. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> fucking took my ass, Alan. <laughs> You ready? It's about to go. Hold on. Two ninety six. Two ninety six. Yeah. Well, that means it'd be like a seven second car. Because my one was eight three eight zero point three on the drive. I'm just going to tune this car real quick.
I just ended up on the other road. Shut up, sheep. Yeah, mine, mine does 10 more kilometers putting in all the drive. Now I'm a quarter mile. It's only a three speed. Okay, let's have a drag race. Let me change something real quick. All right, let's go. The light's changing. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you good. Reading. I've done. I did the same thing to you on accident. Well, now we have a little more time. I'm gonna change a little bit of my gearing. It's got any lag. Oh, we got fucking one nitrous in this game. Yeah, you know fucking awesome that'd be. That'd be amazing. I don't think they'll ever add it. Like, you know, fucking that would be so sick. Hey, it's going. Three hundred. Ah, no. Woo! Three twelve. I gotta, okay, I gotta shoot my first gear. Oh, I have you my- You see me pulling on you really hard at the end? My first gear is 3.05. <laughs> well, your car being such a fast car, my car was pulling on you so hard. Hey, I'm okay with that. No, no, like, but this car's, like, fucking quick, and your car's still quick, but fucking, at, like, right at the end, like, I was just, just pulling on you. Okay, I'm gonna shoot in first gear a little bit. Actually, we'll have another drag race. Actually, hold on, let me just... Let me tune my third time. gear. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. What else should I add to the paint on this car to make it look like a beaten up... Uh, project. I had like better number plates, like my number plate. Come on! Oh, did we fucking die? I fucked you up! I gotta I don't re. Know. Did we tie? Because that was like really. It was close, but I edged you. Hold on, I gotta change third gear Dude, again. Let's go on the actual drag strip. Let's go on the actual um. Do you have that drag strip unlocked yet? Um, let me see. Like the actual drag strip race. It's just right here. Oh, I haven't even changed my suspension yet. That will fucking really help. It says only the leader may start, but yeah, I have it unlocked. Yeah, okay, hold on, I'll stop in a second.
Wait, hey, can you pick a? Can you pick your Ford still? Yeah, I'm still in it. Did you? Are you? Are you still in your Ford? Um, it's making me pick a. Uh, it's making me pick a car. What you have to oh, do is, with, I already, I'm already borrowing your yeah, car. Let's yeah. just do that. And then the next time you do it, you have yeah, to set it up as a use any yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize. I didn't know I could do that a little. Holy shit! This, this is thing is I've fast. Are you driving around the street? Where are you? I can't even see. You. Driving your car. Is it, are you driving on the street or what? Kind of. Part of it. This thing is stupid fast. What is this fucking. What is this bullshit? Why is it taking so long? Yeah, it's fucking so quick, eh? Hey? What's this doing? What the fuck? There it goes. Yeah, okay. That was a bit retarded. Oh, that's life. I mean, that could probably get rid of the roll cage, if since it's all wheel drive. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna do that after this. That's 60, that's 60 kilos, so that's 100 pounds, and that's a tenth of a second. I'm sitting next to a bone stock Honda Civic, um, Type R. Does <laughs> so anyone know this has got a V8 under it? <laughs> Just throws a rod. I wish you could blow up engines in this game. How fucking awesome would that be? That'd be funny as hell. I'm beating you in your own car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you beat me? How? Oh, yeah. He doesn't show my time. It was fast. Yeah, but usually it's meant to show your actual time, but it's fucking it showed it's like points. We gotta do rivals. Fuck. I was I was curious. I wanted to Promoted to drag like, strip sure round three. <laughs> oh. Hey there, Chris. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I'm just gonna change something real quick. Mining Horizon Live Session. Oh, that means I gotta watch it back. It's still marching into me, dude. Well, I'll wait until I get off my pee plate so I can buy a V8. Like that. Yeah. Youth, Makes me so mad. What? Well, uh, we gotta be fucking. We gotta have our license for three years before we can. Have a turbo car or V8? <laughs> Not in America. Yeah, I know. If I was in America, if I lived in America, I'd set up Dodge Challenger. You are actually allowed to. This is the only limitation. There is a horsepower limitation on your license for your first six months. You cannot break 600 right. horsepower. Oh, that's fine. So that means, but a Dodge Challenger, I don't even think has more than 600 horse. 
Unless it's yeah, a Hellcat. A Hellcat. Yeah, no, no, but a Hellcat 700. They say 707 horsepower, but actually doesn't have 707 horsepower. No, but they go off the booklet at uh, the crankcase horsepower. Oh, okay. Does that mean like they strict on that bar? Say again? Are they like strict on it? If they pulled you over driving a Hellcat and you didn't have your last six months, would they fucking? No, because usually, you usually they know it's your. It's not your car. If you own the car, they're not gonna rip you a new asshole. But um, you'll get in trouble, but they can't find you. Oh. It's something stupid. So they'll give you a warning. Yeah. Because like... they believe I you're. I think if I got caught driving a V8, any sort of V8, like just any, it could be a shitty, pissy V8 that's got like 100 horsepower. I think I'd get a new asshole torn. But yeah. How long have you had your license? Um, two years. Oh, I've had mine for three. Yeah. As soon as I have mine for three years, like three years, like so when my third year's up, I can have V8. Wait, so how did you get your Ford F100? Um, I haven't, I've never even, I've never ever 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 driven it. I've got the body off the chassis. Huh? That's got a V8 Chevy in it. So technically you can't drive it. No, nah, and part well, I'm gonna spend twenty thousand dollars on building an engine. I think the car will be done my, until I'm off my um my P plates, which is my three year thing. So you're putting a Chevy engine in it? Nah, big block forward. There you go. Over here in America, Ooh. Ford engines are not. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> All I see is a fucking Civic. <laughs> Big block Fords are not as popular as Chevy motors are in the U.S. Like, um... Yeah, I know, because Chevy engines are so cheap. They're cheap and they're bulletproof. I've driven a lot of, like, pretty powerful cars, and I've, dri I've driven a, a Chevy Silverado with a, um, 598 cubic inch big block Chevy in it with apparently 700 horsepower, and I've driven a... Ford F100 the exact same as mine with just a year older and that had 750 horsepower and I thought the Ford was fucking th three times quicker the weight yeah it probably is fine ah <laughs> yeah but fucking yeah. Uh, I just fucking no. Like, I just pulled that engine. Just the engine was just gutless, and then the Ford was just so fucking. It was like actually retarded. It was so fucking fast. I Do you know the site racing junk. Say again. It's American side. It's an American side racing junk. I've not actually heard of that site, but please continue. Really? No. Nope. Yeah, it's an American side. I've been mean, uh, because. When I do build my engine, I'm gonna buy a bunch of parts from America because it's way cheaper. Yeah. And buying it from Australia. So yeah, I've been looking at that side of you. It's a really good side. It's an American side. It's a really good side. They've got cars. They sell cars, mostly engines, but yeah, it's drag cars, street modified cars. It's all like it's mostly V8. They've got a Chevy section, Ford section, and a Mopar section. Are Mopars very popular in Australia? Um, not really. Yet. There's a couple of quick ones. Like Sonny's engines, have you ever heard of them? No, I have not. I haven't really, really? been I haven't really been into the racing sit set yet. Cause I haven't had the money or the time or the absolute necess necessity to build a race car yet. Yeah. You know like cubic inches, right? Yes I do. Like leaders, but for like the American version. Well, Sony's engines, they build Hemi's, they're fucking so sick, the engine, that it's a company that build, like, special, like, race engines, and they're fucking, like, the engines are worth about 50,000 American to 100,000 American. Damn. And, um, they build all different types, and 
and they're all run off pump fuel and they all have over like 1200 horsepower most of them and they've and they're all around the 700 cubic inches 700 to a thousand cubic inches that's insane that, sort of. yeah the their, their engines are so fucking sick one of the Pack biggest up. sony's s-o-double-n-y like engines. i'll have to look that they're up fucking sick because the biggest motor I know right now is either a Chevy 572 or a Chevy 703 Stroker. 703. That's a that's like an aftermarket block and everything. That 703 Stroker. Yeah, it's a it's a 632 racing engine with a slightly bigger yeah. bore and a bigger stroke. Like, if you watch Street Outlaws ever, Doc put a 700-some yeah, yeah. Chevy in his uh, Monte Carlo. And that thing screams. It is a beast. Yeah. Big Block's, like, slow until you get them to rev high. When they start revving high, but you get a Big Block to rev high, that's when you start going quick. I, I prefer engines with a lower, a lower rev range, but a lot more torque and power. Like... The old 1969 Cadillac 500. That thing made 500 pound-feet of torque, 400 and I think 30 some horsepower, and it did not break 3,600 RPM. Yeah. But think about that. Yeah, big box of all got more torque, but not it's like they're all talking. Well, unless you get a they built big too. block, then they'll have more horsepower. But the problem is, is their weight. More horsepower and torque. Yeah, they weigh a lot. Um, and that's why the LS uh, is so popular. I, I, just, I just drove this, my dad's friend's big block fucking Ford in his F100. And, like, I just loved his F100 so much. And, like, I just had to buy one. <laughs> it was the best car I've ever fucking, like, I, I literally, like, fucking loved it. And I, I fucking just had to buy one. So I sat there for, like, a year trying to look for fucking one because they're real rare. With a big back window, and fucking, it took me like a year to find it. I got you. All I did just sat there at lunchtime on my fucking breaks, looking at Craigslist in America. I was searching every single fucking state in America for the the car that I wanted. And it had to be a short bed too, as long as it's again. I'm trying to get my dad to sell me his uh, '72 Lincoln. I showed you a picture of it. Yeah, I think you did that fucking big thing with the full 16 in it. Or yep, seven and a half liters. Yeah, full. Yeah, I'll fucking um. Yeah, I'll I'll be doing the full 60, not a full 60, but well, same like a full 60 big block, but not full 60, like 530 probably. <laughs> yeah, I want like 800 horsepower. It leads to the, like to the flywheel. I like, I know I'm a sacrilegious person when I say something like this, but what I would love to do to that car is I'd love to put a different rear end in it. And this is gonna kill me to say because I probably would never do it, but it's still fun to think about. But probably put like a uh, Ford Racing Boss 302 in it instead of the big 460. And either a I forget what the code name for Ford is, but a they have the Hemi heads, don't they? Or the overhead cams. The Boss 302 crate Boss motor? 302. No, it's a push rod yeah. still. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Ford doesn't make very many push rod engines, and that's why I'm kind of turned off of Ford because I'm not a fan of dual cam V8s. Yeah, I'm not either. But all they like. Cleveland, Windsor, a Ford Windsor. I'd love to build a Ford, like a small block Windsor, a 460 small block Windsor. I think. I'd love to build one of them. I think ours is actually one of the last American-built pushrod 460s. But those things, actually, if you build them up, they can make eight, nine hundred pound feet of torque fairly easily. Because it already makes 460 pound-feet of torque. It's so much fun. 
Because you just stand on the brakes and tap the gas, and it'll just spin the wheels. Mm. Now it doesn't have. It fucking loves fuel. Oh yeah, it eats gas, and it's got a 22 gallon tank. I guess your fuel's probably a lot cheaper than ours. Our gas right now is about at the cheapest 187. 187 for a gallon. Yes, which in Australian dollars I think is somewhere. How many gallons are in a liter? Um, hold on. How many gallons are in one liter? So hold on. How many Wait, liters are in a gallon? Cost a dollar. The answer is three point seven nine liters. One dollar eighty seven American what? into Australia. What? Do you know what's funny? The answer is two Australian dollars and sixty cents. Two sixty per gallon of gas in America. Do you know what's funny is? Huh. I pay right now I pay a dollar eighty five cents for a liter for one liter yeah and that's a third of a gallon a little oh a little yep. more than a third yep. holy sh you are getting raped yeah real hard everyone's complaining about it I would be because in America we get three Australia, more yeah. than we get more than three times the gas for this for about the same price. Cause I mean you're saying you're paying one eighty five. Um Yeah. One eighty six really. One eighty six Australian into US. Some, place, some places are even paying two dollars. Here's what I found on the In like the middle of nowhere. One dollar eighty six Australian into US. Okay. I ah fuck you then. Because no. one dollar American is a dollar thirty six in Australian right now. Don't wait. What would you say? One dollar American is one thirty six Australian. What's it the other way around? So I, I was one. It's like last time I checked, it was like seventy seven cents or something. One dollar Australian into U S dollars. Australian dollar is equivalent to about 0.72 US dollars. 72 yeah. cents. Yeah. Why don't you should import a ute to America. I want to. I gotta find one. And if I can't import a ute, I want to try to find like a 2003 or 4 Commodore XF. Reason being, XF. I think it's either XF or XE. I forget what the name is. But, um... There's one with an X. I don't know where it's it was. It's a model. Oh, it is? Shit. I don't know what year it is. It's fucking old. Bro. But I'm looking I for... I think it's Ford. The... Okay, so I might be wrong then. I'm looking for something between, like, 2002 and 2004. Because I want to put the Pontiac um, GTO the front end on it. Why? And the reason I want to do that is I want to have America's first four-door GTO. Ah, so you want, oh, so you want a VZ, which is like 2004-5? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, they're my favorite. VZ Cobb Sports are really cool. My absolute favorite Holden that I've seen is the Gen F Malou Limited Edition GTS or the GTS RW1 2017. Are they your favorite? Yes, but you... They're my favorite because I can't touch them. Wait, what'd you say? The, the VF, GDS? The Gen F. Yeah, it's, it's a, the model is a VF. Oh, I'm sorry. Gen F, VF. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's the same thing. They, they say Gen F or whatever, but they, they're the models are VF. VF model, which is like the new old models. Which is sad because there's never going to be another Commodore. I've driven a, I've like driven I know. a brand new VF GDS. Yeah, but here's the, the problem now. All of the new. The hoist. All of the new Commodores are front wheel drive. 
Yeah. penises in the world. Hey, there's a reason America has the fastest cars in the world. Is that so cheap? Because we have the smallest dicks. Well, I want to I want to get LS7 and put it in my Commodore. LS7s are pretty cheap over here. Yeah, like over here about $10,000 for a crane motor. Over here, you can get an LS7 for somewhere between five or six thousand dollars with less than forty thousand miles on it. Oh, fuck you! Yeah. Oh, fucking hot beats so I wait for one. Hey. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. LS7s are sick. That is my absolute favorite LS motor. I've never even seen one. I have. They're gorgeous. And big. Well, because the only car LS7s come out in was a W427. They were a $150,000 car, brand new. But that's so stupid that they only came out in one car. In America, we got it in the... Z28 Camaro, we got it in the Z06 Corvette, and we got it in a very, yeah. very, very limited production Silverado. And it wasn't even a production car, it was an aftermarket build. Yeah, and fucking, and there was only 800 of them bought to, like, 800 of them made in Australia, W427, like, something stupid like that. I'll say... Like 400, 800 or something. We probably have something over like 100 to 120,000 LS7 cars rolling around from the factory with that motor. Not including crate engines. Yeah, fuck. I just want an LS7 so bad. I understand. Where would I find an LS7 from America for $4,000? I'll just sell them for one. You just gotta look around. Yo, on this site, Racing Junk, the site I usually go on, I can't find LS7 for fucking that. that LS, piece. they're becoming hard to find. Even, um, I would drink um, LS's. I would. I wouldn't mind having one of them. But I will say that five point three liter LS can come out in anything in Australia. Um, if you want a good LS truck engine, the LQ9 with the flat top pistons is a really good engine. Oh yeah, LQ9 is a six liter, isn't it? Yes, but it's also an iron block, and it could take almost twenty. Yeah, that's, that's... It could take twenty-five psi of boost without changing a thing. Like those things are known for yeah. going on stock connecting rods, pistons, and everything, doing almost eight hundred horsepower. Yeah, you just have that engine with ARP studs for everything, bolts and studs. Head you, bolt, get, happy head bolts. you guys never got truck motors because full-size trucks don't really seem to be a big thing in Australia. Like, they really yeah. should have sold the Silverado yeah, there. Truck, you know. Yeah. How the heck is he? I'm selling um, the Silverado now. They were selling Dodge Rams, but now they're selling, selling the Silverado. Wait, who's selling Silverados now? HSV, Holden. Hate holding special vehicles. Like this Wait, so GM Australia was selling Dodge Rams? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, no, it's fucking fun. I don't know if they still do, but they were last year. Now they bring out the Silverado. Do you have the new Silverado? 
The one that looks yeah, like the brand new one. The one the that Z, looks weird. Is it? The Z something. Oh no no no! I'm talking. I'm talking about the one with like the headlights that make it look like it's trying to be angry. But I mean, it's failing miserably. Hold on. I'm pretty sure we got the new one. HSV Silverado. Holy shit! I didn't actually think they still sold Chevys in Australia. They're selling the Camaro too. The Camaro is coming out to Australia. Oh no, you don't! It's already come out. You can buy a Camaro. You do not have the brand new Silverado. You have the current one, not the brand new one. Yeah. Well, let's see. And we have the Camaro 2SS for eighty thousand dollars. So I'm surprised HSV was selling Dodge. So HSV is basically your Chevrolet. It's a right-hand yeah. drive Silverado. Holy shit. Uh -huh. You motherfuckers are lucky. I want to see the back of it. I want to see if it's got yellow blinkers. No! What? How's that... Yeah, no, they, they don't... They don't, it's illegal apparently, because it's not ADR compliant. Well, it's right hand drive. I mean, if I could get my fucking hands on one, I would. Oh, wait, yes, it does. I see the yeah, yellow now. Max. They removed the top brake light and replaced it with a blinker. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, not the color. It's, yeah, that's what they do. Same with the Dodge Rams. But you guys only have the heavy duty Chevy, you don't have the 1500. Um, yeah, I think that's right. All you guys seem to have is the 2500, which is kind of yeah. stupid, because the um, 3500 is the fun but, um, one. Oh, wait, nope, you have When they were doing the Dodge Rams, all they did was the 2500 Dodge Ram Laramie, no other model uh, um, Dodge Ram. And I think they did the 1500 as well. But there are, you can buy a 1500 Dodge Ram as well. Oh, yeah, sorry, the 1500 Dodge Rams come out from Dodge, sorry. Um, you guys have a cooler. You guys have a cooler Colorado than we do. Colorado, they're gay. Oh, is your Camaro right-hand drive or is nope? It's left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now what happens is they bring them over from America, and the H HSV Holden Special Vehicles bring them over from America and and convert them to right-hand drive themselves. Oh my God! I... Up, if we want to buy, if I want to go buy one right now, cost me eighty thousand dollars. That Camaro, yeah, it's because SS or whatever it is. Well, is driving a left-hand drive car legal in Australia? Um. Well, I oh fuck, that's right. I haven't talked to you for a while. I went to a like a cars and coffee thing the other day, just down the road from where I live. Mm -hmm. Um, at a winery place. Did you know what was there? Hmm. A Dodge Demon. A guy bring a Dodge Demon. Dude! Yes! <laughs> Finally, a Dodge it's Demon gets left, to live down under. Drive. Well, that's it's because they don't, they don't make a right-hand drive conversion kit for that. But the one question I have is... No, no, no. They, they do. They do convert them. They do convert them. Because they convert Hellcats. I've never seen No, but the thing is... Street. The Demon is a one-of-a-thousand car. You really don't want to play with it. Yeah, but they they still um they still convert them to right hand drive. And do you know how much they cost? How much? Over here, how much they're selling them? The same. There's only one company that does it over here in Australia that convert the demons. Um, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck that shit. You know how much a demon was in America? Uh, yeah, about eighty. Eighty five thousand dollars. Eighty five grand. Hold on. Eighty-five thousand dollars U.S. into Australian dollars. Yeah, I'm a fucking. One hundred eighteen thousand three hundred and three Australian dollars. So you are paying two hundred plus thousand Australian more for that car yeah. just to have it converted to right-hand drive. Yep. I would probably just bitch and live with left. The the um conversion probably costs about forty-five thousand dollars Australian. Yeah, so that's how much it costs for the Dodge Rams. And so that's about as much as it costs for the challenges as well. So and that still adds up to about one hundred and fifty, sixty thousand dollars, and they're still trying to sell them for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. So is your it's dad gonna get his Ram converted to right-hand drive? 
Yeah, it's, they, it has to be converted to drive on the street to be legal. So you have to have right-hand drive to drive in Australia? Yeah, unless it's 25 years or older. Wow! I didn't know that rule existed. Because in England, you can drive left and right-hand drive. Oh, and if your car came out EFI, it's illegal to make it carburetted. Wait, if your car came out when it's illegal to be carbureted? Um, if your car came out EFI, which is like... Oh, if it was like fuel, injection fuel injection from the factory. Yeah, if it come out... Yeah, from factory, it's illegal to change it to carbureted. Apparently, but, like, yeah. I'm actually kind of jealous, because you guys get the yellow blinkers on the Camaro. <laughs> because, yeah, but, you know, um, I'm getting... The video later... Yep. Later, watch the video on YouTube. Fucking Camaro in Australia, and some guys doing a review on it, and like everything, like in it, like the fucking the screen in the middle, like it's like tilted, sort uh -huh. of like forwards. It looks gay, and you can't really see it. And um, yeah, armrest is on the other side. It's on the passenger side, and you're pretty well putting your fucking arm into the drink fucking holder. Yeah, because the car was That's specifically built to be a uh, American car. It was built to be left-hand drive. Yeah, that's that's right. why everything's wrong. You gotta remember that. It was built as a left-hand drive car. Yeah. Yeah, but if you think about it, like, there's an Australian holding, holding, import them themselves and change and drive and drive. I don't, when you think they'd fucking... But I don't think Chevrolet's like, giving them the schematics to change that because GM wants to do it on the cheap if they're gonna be putting a car that they really don't want to send off to another country and have converted convert it. Because if GM's forcing their performance division to do that, they're going to be assholes about it and make it as cheap as possible just to get the cars out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, because some, because Mustangs in Australia, they come over right-hand drive. They're made in America right-hand That's drive. because, though, they offer they it, over here. they offer it from the factory. Chevrolet doesn't. This is a custom job from HSV. Yeah. So and I think also Dodge Rams is coming out to Australia right hand drive. Well, that's because the new one is a hundred percent designed by Fiat. Yeah, because you got the Fiat engine in it. Yep, and the new Silverado you guys are gonna like because it's got a three liter inline six turbo diesel for the fifteen hundred. Oh really? Yep. The only problem it doesn't have yellow mm -hmm. blinkers. And so what? And is it? Is the engine already out? Is it? No, it's not out yet. It comes out in 2019. Give me one second. I gotta take the headset off for a second. I'll be right back. Yeah. Speaking of all of this, we'll get back on topic of what we were talking about, but I wanted to tell you, here's how great it is to own an, a car in Ohio, in America. That's where I live. Um, it, yeah. In Ohio, all your car has to be, it has to be legally registered with a title. It has to... Um, have functioning blinkers, headlights, tail lights, and a seatbelt. That's it. Mm. No other rules. Uh, except for the one national rule, which is if it didn't come from the factory right-hand drive, it has to be left. Really? Yep. Yeah. But, oh, isn't it in Virginia you're allowed to fucking sit in the back of the, the truck? No, in the... 
entire 50 United States. You're allowed to sit in the back of a truck, but you cannot take it on the highway with people in the bed. Um. Yeah. I think Ohio's the only one who really doesn't seem to care about that rule. It's a Gen F2. Gen F2. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. I think they're still making the Gen F right now for a short time. They have GTS, Club Sport, R8, LSA. Ooh. Yeah. I see a hatchback with an LSA. That sounds fucking badass. You mean the wagon? Yeah. What the hell happened to America? Yeah. America used to make some really cool shit. And then we basically were like, here, Australia, take our cool shit. And America went to hell. Australia. you. Yeah, I don't like wagons. I do. Like, I don't know if um, you play on the computer or not, but um, look up a 1996 Chevy Caprice station wagon. That's a car I want. But I want to do a full Chevy SS conversion on it, which is either LT or LS1 V8. A six-speed manual conversion, which means I have to fuck with the front seat in order to fit the shifter in there. And a limited slip 373 or 355 rear end. Because I've seen those things. There's a guy with a hearse version of that. With a twin-turbo V8, four-speed, 4L80E transmission. And he constantly runs like 9.5s. In the quarter mile. What did he run? He run fives. No, he runs um, nine point fives. A uh, nine point five. So that's like nineteen point five. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. I'm surprised that the GTSR Malu only gets an LSA. I thought they would have at least put the LS nine in it, just a slightly detuned. Like, because I know the GTSR. Yeah, just, there's a GDS. Sorry, there's a, GD, there's a GDSR, black sedan, and then there's a GDSR Malu, but then there's a GDSR W1, which is just the sedan with the LS9. But I'm surprised they didn't put the LS9 in the GTSR um, Malu. In the Malu, yeah. Like, what yeah, I wish they would have done is... I was, I, I was surprised. I kind of wish they would have made a W1 Malu with, like, maybe only the 638 horsepower ZR1 LS9. And then leave the 700 odd horsepower LS9 in the sedan with the spoiler, the aerodynamics kit, and everything. Mm. Yeah, I like GDSs. If I didn't buy my F100, I was going to buy a GDS when I got off my P plates. I. Like a brand new one. Not a brand new new one, but by the time I got my P plates, if 2017 I, one if, or 16 one would have been about 50,000. If I ever get the money for it, I want. To, I want to save the money, and I want to get a Australian Ute, but I want to get it legally right-hand drive. So I'd have to have it as a company car okay. or something. No, no, no. I don't want to convert oh, okay. it. I want it to stay right-hand drive because yeah, okay. I want to get a car that's right-hand drive because I want to learn how to shift with my left hand. That way I can leave this country and still drive a decent car because most cars in Europe, Australia, and a couple other countries are stick shifts. But in America, we're all going bitchy and going automatic, 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 automatic. Because everybody's yeah. too fucking lazy to shift the goddamn gear. I've driven one manual, um, fucking... One manual left-hand drive car. It was, a, it was a 1964 Chevy fucking... Impala? Chevy truck. And ah, damn. Nah, Chevy truck. And, um... Yeah, it was pretty gay. <laughs> It's probably only a four-speed, though. Yeah, it was a four-speed. But, actually, a good-looking truck. Look up a... Uh, hold on, let me see if I can find oh. it. Um, okay, I wasn't quite going for the heavy-duty one. Hold on. 
1950 or a 1941 uh, Chevy 3100. I want one of those. I don't like Chevy trucks. I love the F trucks. I fucking love them. Well, this one's my favorite Chevy because it's just like the last time they looked good. And this one came with the Stove Bolt 6, which is basically the world's most bulletproof inline 6 ever. Because yeah. that truck. Hey, do you, have an Amer you guys don't have an American Toyota Land Cruiser, do you? No, we do now. Like they're a gay. Oh, you do now, they're gay. Yeah, we know. The, the 8, V8 4.5 liter. Yeah. Gutless. The Toyota I Force V8. Yeah. Ooh, the Toyota Dual Cam yeah. 349 yeah. cubic inch engine. It's so much more efficient than Chevy. That's because we like push rods. Yeah, they're fucking 130 kilowatts standard. Which is about 160 horsepower. Okay, we don't have that bad. 38 horsepower standard. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't have the diesel. Oh, the diesel. You don't have the diesel. No, nope, ours is just a gasoline motor because diesel is more expensive here, and nobody thinks, uh, "Oh, get the diesel out." Like, we're not gonna have the Chevy Cruze anymore, which you guys have as the uh, Holden Astra, because yeah, here's how. We do have a Holden Cruze too. Well, here's what's happening with uh, GM now. GM is shutting down all of their American plants except for the Corvette and Camaro. Because the blaze, the new Blazer, which if you look at it, you can see why most Americans aren't very thrilled anymore about it. Because we heard the name and we were like, awesome! Oh, it's front-wheel drive. Well, fuck. Um, <laughs> Wait, so why are they shutting down... Because um, it's cheaper to send the Blazer to Mexico to keep the Suburban and Yukon in Mexico to send half the Silverado production to Canada and the other half to Mexico, keeping all full-size sedans that they will continue, which is very, very few, to Canada, and just keeping Corvette and Camaro here. Because what you don't know is the Dodge Demon and Hellcat, they're not actually made here. They're made in Canada. They're made in Canada, yeah. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, fucking, a Hellcat is my dream car. Fucking Hellcat. It is my dream car. My dream car is a 2009 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 with a twin-turbo LSX 454 under the hood. I just want a fucking hell. I just love Dodge Challengers. Dodge Challengers getting my oh, I know they're fucking saturated. They're they're gorgeous oh. cars. Oh, how come in America you guys don't have the Chrysler SRT? Because we got rid of it in 2014. We don't have it anymore. Huh. We haven't built it since 2014. We still get them. You there? Yeah, I'm here. I just spanked the Lamborghini with the Ford. We still get the um prize of thrown CSRT. Hold on, let me. Australia. Let me see. Brand new one. And it's just got a SR like it's got a SRT grill in it and everything. They look so sexy. Chrysler AU. Oh no shit, you guys still get it, you lucky fucks. Yeah. Fuck you guys, we don't get it. <laughs> yeah, the, do you, did you see the SRT in the grill? Yeah, I see it, but we didn't even get that cool of a grill. You guys get all the pimp Chryslers. Oh, all you guys have. Fucking sick, eh? So the only Chryslers you guys have in Australia is the Chrysler 300C Luxury and the 300 SRT. Um, and then there's diesel, there's a couple of other ones, the diesel one. Well, on their Chrysler website, it's, it doesn't say so. Yeah, there, there is diesel one, there's fucking B6 one. Here. Yeah, fucking, yeah there's, there's a bunch of them. Okay, we still... Uh, for also the 
SRT Durangos, they look pretty cool in, in America. They're fun, but they're not as great as you think they Yeah, we don't have the SRT Chrysler 300 anymore. We have the 300C, and that's it. And the 300C has the 5.7 liter only. Which is gay. Hell, our Limited comes with the V6 standard. That's fucking retarded. An American company giving their country the worst cars. Eh, that's normal. <laughs> wow, Chrysler doesn't make anything anymore. They make the 300 and the Pacifica. They used to make a ton of cars. What happened? <laughs> we have a hybrid minivan. I could buy a Chrysler. Fuck yeah. Five point. Here's my five point seven liter Chrysler, two thousand eight Chrysler CSRT, fifteen thousand dollars Australian. That'd be fun. Yeah, I'm. I could buy a two thousand seven or six point one liter. I'm on the Chrysler Australian website. Oh my god, you guys have the SRT police car. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. That's They're fucking... Start. I've never seen one. That's fucking I've never awesome. Seen one, but they, um, they're starting to use them. Same with BMWs, they're starting to use. Oh, and Kia Stingers. There was one at SEMA, which was really funny. Yeah, the only cars it says you guys have for Chrysler in Australia is the 300C and the 300 SRT. Which I'm severely jealous that you guys get the SRT. You guys yeah, get. Fuck, they're, they're such a nice looking car. You have the 6.4 Hemi the and the 8 speed. We, when we had ours, yeah. only got the 6 speed and the 8 and the 6.4 liter. Yeah. Oh, and it. You got the updated interior, the SRT, and everything. God, you guys are some lucky fuckers. You get all the really good American shit. And America gets to keep the crap. But then again, we also... <laughs> it's pretty really funny, uh... It's pretty really funny, out uh, Because those crises, I'm sure, are made... Well, obviously, they're made in America still. Yep. And they're shipped here. It's like... Don't get they get to torture us with the fact of... Oh, here's a picture of a left-hand drive one. But it's basically like, Oh, America, you can build this, but you can't have it. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so dumb! Hold on, let me see something. Dodge Ram AU. So now they officially sell Dodge Ram trucks. Australia's only factory authorized importer and distrib distributor of Ram trucks. Oh, you guys still only have the old Rams right now. You don't have the new ones yet. We have the new. We have the um. We have the new ones, the funny front ones, like the the new. The, you know the new ones with the new front. We have those ones. Oh, this website. Fifteen hundred ones. This website doesn't show yeah. it right now. Yeah, Dodge Dodge import those new ones themselves. How are these things legal if? they don't have yellow blinkers in the back. Because I'm looking at all these photos they have of the trucks driving around with no yellow lights in the rear. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I think the problem okay, is because your dad, the blinker is the brake light. I see the problem with your dad's truck and how he can fix it. I'm looking at this picture they have of the old-style trucks, which I believe is what his looks like, um, with yellow blinker taillights in the rear. What he can do is he can change out his entire light housing since he has those red lights only. He can go find a 1500 RAM, or he can go online and look up for a 2500 or whatever he has. But the 1500 lights will fit, because they it seems they make the yellow flasher-style taillights for the 1500. He can get those and then wire in light bulbs or change the wiring harness on the rear taillights off of a 1500 and have yellow blinker lights so the truck's legal. 
He just won't get yeah. to keep the LED yeah, tail lights. The reason why he didn't, the reason why he didn't change him is because he actually likes him like the American way. That's why. He didn't well, change him. then just tell your dad what he can do is just yeah. uh, wire some yellow LEDs, run basically a strip around, or run a strip across the tailgate, and when he hits the signal, they'll blink yellow. Because we have those in America. We have them where you either stick them on the bottom of the tailgate, under the tailgate, on the top of the bumper, or on the top of the tailgate. And when you hit the signals, they can either blink red or they can blink yellow along with your taillights. So yeah, your taillight's still going to be blinking the red uh, light, but you'll also have a yellow light blinking right next to it. I forget what we yeah, call them, yeah. but... Yeah, I think they're changing that. <laughs> I mean, he can change it to the actual Australian spec taillights, or he can just put some LEDs on it and say, fuck it. Yeah, I want to get compound turbos for it. Car compound what? Compound turbos. I want to get compound turbos for it. <laughs> that sounds like fun. It's so fucking quick. Fuck it. Just fucking it's so quick. We've like deleted the EGR and GTF. We've got a 5 inch exhaust straight from the, the, the turbo. Um, we've got an intake manifold coming from the States and a, and a grid heater delete, which it, in, a, in the snow in America, it heats up the air coming into the engine. I got you. In America, yeah, we have delete, to be. It's a delete kit to delete that. In America, we have to be very careful with what we do with our diesel trucks due to the EPA. Yeah. Yeah, same with uh, same with us, sorta, but not not as strict as you. Actually, I think it would be as strict, probably even stricter. But some states, so how come in some states, they fucking they just run a fucking market, but in California they like they really fucking. California are the biggest assholes of our country because California. they have this. California fucked your butt. They took away all your fun, California. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna hate me? On the auction house, I found a Jeep uh, track hop. Oh, Jeep Trackhawk, fuck, I want one. And I bought it. How much? I How picked it up for 146000 Yeah, I'll fucking buy one right now. Uh, so aren't Trackhawks meant to be faster than a um, Hellcat? No, they're meant to compete with it. They're not faster. They're nowhere near faster, because they weigh just about we a went to thousand a pounds in America, more. And the bike was like, yeah... Yeah, because we were like, I was sitting in the in the Hellcat, and the guy offered us forty five thousand dollars for it. Like, Whoa! We could buy it forty five. That is dirt $45. cheap, dude. Yeah, in the dealership in Las Vegas, and because he was carrying on because he's new, and he was saying how he's new, and his boss wants him to like sell the car. Like, you should have snatched that bitch up while sell. you had a chance. <laughs> Because those things retail in the yeah. after in the uh, used market for about sixty odd thousand. But fucking um, that's tax, but not included. Oh, taxes and all included. That car probably wouldn't have broken fifty grand. There's three in the auction house. How oh. much? Oh, guess what I'm buying one for? What? Forty thousand. Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming to the auction house, please. One for forty thousand. Don't buy them all. Right. I want one. It'll, it'll still probably be there. Cause I want no, it. The rest cost for the rest. They want fucking a lot for. I just bought one for forty thousand. <laughs> Some idiot yes. literally had it up for that. Yeah. 
He had it up for seven thousand. I could have bid it on it for seven thousand, so I bought it out for forty thousand. Oh fuck the other two. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. yeah, like five hundred thousand. The other two. Fifty million. Yo, you got my. You've got my demon. I do, and I also got another one. Yeah. Oh really? You can tell me the other one then. Maybe. Let me look in the auction house, see if you can find one cheaper. Because I kind of like having two. Actually, yeah. Yeah, actually, I will try to do that. Yeah, the other two. Buyout price is $20 million, the other two. And highest bid, 500000 I just bought one. Not a demon. A demon? A track hawk. Oh. There's no demons Wait, in the where, auction where house yet. From? Auction house. Who did you buy? Who did you buy the track hawk from? I have no idea. Uh, there's, only two tra there's only two track hawks there now since I bought the forty thousand dollar one. Yeah, and I bought but a forty thousand dollar one. Worth. Really? They must have just fucking. Rowan thirty three sixteen. R a u e n thirty three sixteen. Who'd you buy yours from? Um. Oh fucking! I already collected it. Well, you can um, go to your auction alerts and it'll tell you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Oh, let me just equip it. Where the fuck is it? Go to auction alerts and it'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to my track walk. I thought I fucking did that. Yeah, that's has got it. Are you okay? I think, I think we've broken you. I think so. I think I'm okay. I think you're fucking broken. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to die. Okay, um... Auction house... Auction alerts. Yeah, I bought mine from... It doesn't say mine. It doesn't say the guy who owns it. No, if you go to... Here, I'll tell auction you. Alerts. Go to auction alerts... It'll say you won the oh, Jeep yeah, Trackhawk. Yeah, I clicked on it. Yeah, I clicked on it. And it'll say right above yeah, your name, yeah, his yeah. name. Yeah, okay. His name is X. X Easter Ben. Okay, so I got lucky and bought this thing as soon as it popped up. Yeah, I, just, I must feel lucky and bought this thing as soon as it popped up as well. I just realized the headlights in the Trackhawk say since 1980, 1941. It's, oh, do you know what's pretty funny? Since I put forty thousand dollars, I could probably sell five hundred since that guy bought. I mean, it on those ones that are worth five hundred. Hey, I mean, if you want to sell it that okay. fast, go ahead. I'm building mine into a drag car. But how much? Yeah, I'm. Gonna, I, I want to do that as well. But like, fucking, that's a pretty good profit if I just did that. I mean, you could do that. You can get these without having to. Um, Wow, the engine in these things sits really low. Um, hold on, I'm trying to think of what I was trying to say. Uh, Dude, gee, look at the body kit of it. It's fucking gross. Have a look at the body kit. I've seen it. It's an off-road kit. It's retarded. And there's a reason I want to get the basic SRT is because... Um, you can put a uh, classic Jeep body kit on it and make it look fucking retarded. Like, it'll look like a base model Jeep Grand Cherokee. Because I did it to one These, of These um, things, that have you, I've never even seen a track book before. Um, do they, like, last very long? Cause we, don't, we don't, we don't have, have break. we don't have very many of them here. You can buy one. I know that, like, you can buy one in Australia, but fucking not from, not from fucking not like, from dealer, from like a fucking someone who's imported it. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? The weight reduction kit is f the best weight reduction kit you can get. Is takes away five hundred and forty eight kilos. Yeah, well, it's not going to do much. I mean, what were you expecting? Hey, 548 kilos, that's a lot. Oh, I thought you said pounds, my bad. 
Yeah, yeah. That's, that's like 800, 900 pounds. Wow, this thing weighs less than 2,000 kilos. Holy shit. Oh, wait, I need this back in American units so I can actually get it up to the horsepower I want it to be at. What the fuck? You put a gay looking bull wire on it. Say again? Oh, you can put some. A bull bar? A ugly bull bar on it. Yeah. Come on, split up, bro. Let's see what this fucking. Okay. From 500 kilowatts to 774 kilowatts, from 2,500 ki 400 kilos to 8 1,800 kilos. That's pretty good. I haven't even changed horsepower yet. <laughs> I, mo I <laughs> modified everything <laughs> except for the horsepower. I love Super Jones. <laughs> How can you do that noise so good? That fucking, that's such a funny noise. It's because my brother's got a uh, cobalt supercharged. And that thing literally has uh, no chill. You hear all supercharger. You'll have to look it up. That car is so funny to listen to. Yeah, it does 240 kilometers an hour. Pretty slow on the quarter mile. You also gotta remember it's still an SUV. Yeah, it's fucking big soccer mom's car. Yeah, but it's a big you, soccer it's mom's the car with. You'd see driving this. What would be the a sort of person you'd see driving this in America? A teenage wannabe. Like a f oh, wait, so you see a teenager driving the car. Like you see teenagers and 20 somethings driving these. Why these? Because they can't afford a Hellcat and the insurance on these is cheaper. Wait, really? Are, aren't these more expensive than a Hellcat? No. Really? No, they're about the same price. But the insurance is cheaper because it's an oh. SUV five seater instead of a sports car. Why would they still buy this? I'd so buy it. I would drive one of these. I mean, I'd modify it, but I'd drive yeah, I'd it. I'd drive one too. I would drive one too, but I'd way rather a helicopter. I missed like two gears. Okay, now for t time to tune it. Did you fully modify the motor? Yeah, fully modified it. I'm gonna go a very specific modification on the motor. I'm not going full mode. I think it's traction like it's a little beach. Um, I'm still gonna put low tire pressure. Oh, it's got eight gears. I didn't even realize. You want to tune it so you only use maybe five. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Dang my my arm overdrive to five. I like the raspy noise these V8s make.
Oh, HSV isn't owned by GM. It's owned by Etigo Automotive. Hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. HSV is not owned by GM. HSV is its own. I'm friends with the guy who owns HSV on Xbox. Sweet. It was a weird fucking... I actually always weird. thought HSV was owned by GM because they work so closely with them, but no. I'm guessing HSV is basically... Yeah, Walkinshaw. Tom Walkinshaw, both you, um, used to race in, ba in Bathurst, fucking started his own, like, carb thing in HSV. And, um... Holding special vehicles it stands for him. They made their made like their own production car. They called um called fucking H uh fuck what's it called? Holden Walking Shaw and fuck it is HSV Walking Shaw. Hmm. It was like the first like yeah V eight fucking it's called a VL yeah, sorry, a VL walking shore is what it's called. You type that in. It's in. It's in Forza Horizon Three. We are walking sure. <coughs> so basically, HSV is going to be selling both of them. What'd you say? HSV's parent company is going to be basically selling both of them. HSV is going to be importing Chevrolet Silverados and converting them to right-hand drive and the Australian taillights and then selling them through Chevrolet Holden dealerships. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't just slap a Holden badge on it and say, fuck it. Because you guys actually had the Chevrolet Suburban. It was branded as the fucking Holden Suburban. So why not just call it the Holden Silverado? Yeah. Yeah, fucking, um, I find it pretty funny how America got, they're called Chevy SS's, and, um, I'm they're called Chevy SS's, aren't they? Or Chevy SS. Chevy sedans. Yeah, Chevy SS. I find it pretty funny how, like, everyone gets so wet over them in, the, in America. That's because we don't get anything awesome. All the shit we get uh, is crap. It looks like a normal car. That's that the point, over though. Here is like a normal car you see every second car. Over here. That is like every second car over here, that car. Well, if you think about it, though, in America, we don't have very many rear wheel drive sedans anymore. And that's because everybody's going, oh, efficiency, 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 bitch, bitch, Even bitch. Even like the Ford Falcons. Like in the, Ameri the Australian Ford Falcons. That's a Ford uh, Fusion Ford over Ford. here. You guys get it in rear wheel drive, we get it in front wheel drive. Tell me that's fair. Yeah, and we get it with um, supercharged V8 and uh, straight six turbo. Really? Yeah. Pop an FPV Typhoon. That's an excellent six. That's Ford Performance Vehicles, it stands for. FPV. I was trying to build the Demon Trackhawk. I'm going to go right back to what I was doing because I got crazy, went over 900 horsepower. It's got 860. I think we can live with my number being slightly off. But, um, I hate the fact that every other country gets right-hand drive, and America's like, no, 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 it's got to be left or you can't have it. Eat a dick. How come a GDRs, a GDRs legal in America yet? Say that one more time, I'm sorry. A GDR is legal in America. The R35. 
That's it. like the R32s and 3s? R32s and are becoming legal. R33s are not. R34s are not. How come? Um, right hand drive. Yeah, fucking, they're like a normal car over here in Australia. Well, that's because you guys have the actual Skyline. Not just the GTRs. And the thing is, everybody's all wet over the GTRs, not realizing the Skyline was just a normal car. Yeah. And they're all imports back to Australia. It's just their right-hand drive from Japan. What I want to do is I want to get a four-door <coughs> R34 Skyline. Skyline. And I want to put <coughs> an RB26 DETT in it. One of our Commodores come out with an RB engine in it. RB30. Really? Yeah. Three liter RB engine. Popping VL Turbo. It's an Australian car that come out. So there's the only car that come out with an RB30 in it. I'm kind of surprised Holden and Nissan partnered together. Yeah. But I mean, Nissan did partner with Chevy for a while, and then we killed that. This fucking track looks not even quick. Hey, for an SUV it is. Yeah, in the game it is, but in real life I'd be fucking, I'd be having fun in it. Yeah, in real life they're very quick. Well, I guess 240 kilometers is quick in real life, but fucking in the game it's slow. Wait, yours only does 240 kilometers? Yeah. Hold on, let me see what the speed mine does is. Mine will do 202 miles an hour. That's a, that's almost 300. Yeah, but on the quarter mile? Oh, no, I'm talking just speed, top speed. Oh, yeah, mine will fucking do that pretty easy. Okay, let's see what mine top speed is. Mine does right now, because I only have 860 horsepower, 140 in the quarter mile. Kilometers. 140. Hold on. 140 miles per hour into kilometers per hour. It's 225.31 kilometers per hour. That's because I haven't tuned my gearing, and I basically have what you would call a demon engine. I'm doing 300 kilometers an hour right now. No. Well, you gotta remember, this is also an SUV that weighs just about the same as a Dodge Demon. Mm -hmm. And I actually. Have you seen a Dodge Demon on the street yet in America? Yes, I saw one in Pennsylvania. Which yeah, is, you know what's funny is when I was at SEMA, I was, we were driving to our hotel in a taxi and I saw one driving on the street, we were behind one. Here's the only problem now, though. SEMA. Demon kit cars are becoming a big thing now. Oh, a demon kit car. Oh, so it could have been just like a Challenger with a demon sticker on it. Yep, because what kids are doing is, uh, mommy and daddy bought them, uh, either RTs or SXT V6s, and they're buying the wheels. <laughs> Love you, Daddy. Hey, it's true, and you know it. 
Name me. Uh, yeah, obviously true. But um, what these I kids are a, doing is I they're putting. A prize of 300 CSRT with a Hellcat sticker on it. Well, that's because a very small select few of them. Charged. Yep. A very small select few of no, them no, no, were no. supercharged. It was like an actual sticker. It was like a gay sticker that like he stuck on it on the side to make it look like it. To make it, like to say that, but like he probably it probably was supercharged. Probably did supercharge it. I kind of wish they would have made a Chrysler 300 uh, Hellcat. Hellcat, yeah. It doesn't even launch very hard with four drives. It like actually launches like piss. I kinda wanna get the view at GNX. I wanna get the I wanna get the fucking Ford Crown Victoria, but I can never ever find it. I can never ever see it in the fucking auction house. I've been trying to get it for so long. I wanna go there right now and see. If I ever, if you ever see a Crown Vic, Ford Crown Victoria in the auction house, buy it. Do not, do not care about how much they want for it. Just fucking buy it. Like the rarest car in the game. I can never fucking buy it. I'm going there right now. I actually, I want to see how you get one. Guarantee I'll never get it. You gotta get it from a, from a what's the name? A roll. That's it. it? Wheel spin. Yeah, wheel spin. Yeah. The problem is most people in this game are like me as car collectors and they refuse to give up the car. They should have the um dots and you in this game. Dots and you? Yeah, dots and dots and Well we call it dots and over here. Dots and Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Mine. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, I want fucking yeah, I want I want Dats and Ute in this game. Is the Dats and Ute that work from an SR20 in it with a big turbo? That's Apparently, it's meant to do nine seconds in the quarter mile. It <laughs> sounds like fun. Yeah. It's got a it's got a C4 gearbox in it, three speed Ford box. Damn, I think that's what my Lincoln has. Then again, I don't know much my about Lincoln Ford. Would have your it's a three-speed. Probably have a C6 box. It's a three. Yeah, your Lincoln would probably have a C6, a C6 big block box because your Lincoln's a big block. Yeah. Because the small blocks and the big block Fords have, like, you can get a C4 in a small block, but then you can also get a C4 in a big block, and a C6 in a big block. Yours would probably be a C6, which is a stronger box. Yeah, even though it's a complete slush box. Yeah. Yeah, but um, C4s are just lighter. They can't take the power. They get, well, I guess you could put power into it, just not as much as a C6. Hey now. I wanna die. Yeah. Uh. Hey now, I'm suicidal. Get your game on, I'm fucking dead. Hey now, I'm suicidal. I don't really give a shit. I'm ready to fucking die. Someone give me a gun. Now I'm done. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh. I want a V8 so bad. I've already had a V8. I just want... No, but you probably didn't have a quick one. <laughs> no, but it was still 300 horsepower. What was it? My truck. 
out of the truck. The diesel? No, it was a gas. Uh. What engine is it? Wasn't it? 5.3 liter LM7. LM7. LS1 uh, based yeah, truck LS1. motor. Oh, that's cool. One turbo. Uh, I didn't have the money for it. Uh, isn't that the hard block? Yes. Like, like a real cheap turbo kit, you could have did. You could have did it all yourself. Yes, but I was also having problems with the truck, so I sold it off to some jackass who paid me a thousand bucks for it. So I'm letting him deal the with truck. the motor problems. The whole truck. Yeah. Is that two? Th it, yep. But the motor. How much would the motor be worth? Like a thousand dollars, not even that. Not with. Not with two hundred fifty-seven thousand miles. <clears throat> That's still worth it. I'm basically completing the. Wait, sorry. <coughs> you were saying something. Is it? Does it? Does it have forged pistons in it as well? No, that one has heavy duty cast. Okay. Wait, and so what? What makes your engine have more boost is the iron block. Yep. Is that right? Is that, isn't it? It can. Pistons? Like the, the iron block can handle more boost before you crack it, and the type of pistons you have yeah. handle more boost. Like most diesel engines, yeah, have yeah, heavy duty right. cast because they hold a lot of torque, and torque is basically what spins shit. And boost makes more torque than horsepower ninety percent of the time. The higher the stroke, the more torque. The bigger the stroke, sorry, the more torque. But like the longer the stroke. I got you. More torque. Yeah. yeah. That's how you get more torque out of your engine. And also the, the bigger stroke. So bigger bore, more horsepower. Bigger stroke, more torque. <laughs> um, <laughs> stroke yeah, the torque. That's probably about right. Hey there. Oh god. You gay? Oh my god. I need a drink. I need some beer. Fucking, I would go get a drink right now, but I can't be bothered to get off and get a drink. Hey, what age is the legal drinking age in Australia? 18. You lucky bitch. <laughs> it's fucking... I was in America. I was in America. And I don't know, understand why, but I was in Las... Like, when I was in Las Vegas. Like, because they, they sell beer and shit. Denny's, and we were in Denny's and stuff. Like most days, for like lunch. Uh huh. And I was always asking for beers, and they never asked for ID or anything. I'm 18. That's because it's they Las Vegas. It's Vegas, yeah, like dude. I was <laughs> beer all the time. They, ne they never asked for IDs. I was drinking beer all the time, and apparently, because I was at SEMA, like, because my, dad, my dad's friend moved to America like 20 years ago. So we met up with her, and she's like a big car fanatic, and she, she came to SEMA with her, and she bring her friend. With her, and he's an LA copper, like a policeman. I got fucking, you. He was telling me if they catch me drinking, they'd fucking take me right to jail. Really? Yeah, in Nevada. Because Nevada's so strict. But yeah, fucking Las Vegas was a fucking weird place. Holy shit. Las Vegas doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Well, have you ever been there? Nope, I haven't really left Ohio except for New Jersey, Canada, and Florida. Yeah, fucking, um, Las Vegas is a weird fucking place. I don't know if it's like, if it's like the fucking rest of America, but that place is fucking weird. And that's the only place in America I've been, it's Las Vegas. Las Vegas is basically the toilet bowl of America. 
Yeah, it's fucking like, yeah, it's fucking weird. It was just shit, you know, it was just shit. I like the uh, other places in America, but like Memphis and shit. Like the country sort of places. America, that'd be cool. I know a place you would love in America. Countries. If you're more of a country mm. type person, Georgia, you would love. Colorado. Yeah, Colorado. Oh, what'd you say? You would love Georgia, Colorado, or Oklahoma. Yeah. I want to go to Colorado. God, my game keeps glitching. Yo, what's that? This is so weird. Holy shit, those some weird cunts. I was, seeing, I was watching fucking homeless cunts sitting there vomiting in the fucking garden. <laughs> I'm fucking, I saw a lot of weed. I saw a lot of weed. I saw some guy we were, we were fucking in, the, in our, my dad. Well, we were in like our friend's car, driving to a dealership to pick up some parts my dad ordered. And there was this gun who got on the freeway. Freeway, sorry. You good? And he, he looked like a fucking weirdo. He looked like the biggest fucking weirdo who's driving a shitbox. And he had his arm out the window, like fucking arm solid out the window, holding like a. Like a Christian cross. <laughs> fucking, he was like a fucking rapist. He was like he was fucked in the head. He was just holding it like solid out the window, not moving his arm at all, just solid holding out the window. Welcome to Probably America. The whole entire time he was driving. And I just saw that and I was like, oh my fucking god. Fuck. Fuck. You're <laughs> I expected to see weed shit like this in America. You went into the wrong neighborhood, boy. That was on the fucking highway in Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas is the wrong neighborhood. That was, that was, it like this, that was, yeah, just like the neighborhoods look so weird too in Las Vegas. They look like they're fucking everyone, like just the neighborhood looked like someone's gonna kill someone. Everybody looked high as fuck, didn't they? Oh, not necessarily, but all I could smell was that. I told you. T O I L E T O. Some places, sometimes I walk past places and I start gagging because it stuck so fucking bad. I've never ever been in situations like that before. It was so new to me. I walk past a place and I start gagging because it stuck so bad. It's because Vegas is so close to passing the weed bill that everybody's already doing it. It's not even that. It just fucking stunk. It just stunk like shit. It looks like shit during the day. It just looks like shit. That night looked pretty cool, like full. But fucking during the day, it just looks like shit. It smells like shit. He shit. And then as soon as it hits night time, it's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. This game will not stop glitching right now, and I don't understand why. All I'm yeah, trying. Fucking Vegas was some weird fucking shithole. It was one weird shithole. The first time we were there, we, we thought it would be nice because we gave us a fucking bitch a $5 tip. Bitch, you like fucking like had a go at us. Fuck you fucking. Fuck. The guy we were with there thought five dollar tip because he thought he was being nice. Like he, he thought that she was going to be so happy, but she was fucking angry. Oh, you give anybody in America money? That's never enough. It's yeah, it, like because our bill was like hundred and thirty dollar bill, and then they gave her a five dollar tip. And apparently, fucking, she went on like, oh, usually you give them a twenty percent of what your order was a tip. Twenty. 20% That's the normal for the fucking tip waitress. in America. Yeah, we don't understand that shit. I've never fucking had a tip anymore my whole entire life, and this cop's like fucking like this big, you... like big bitch to us and everything. Well, that's me. And then she's like, because my dad went to the toilet. And then she's like, because we're sitting down the bar and fucking. Then she's like, okay, guys, can you guys leave now? There's other people to serve. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but this is America. And I was like, what the fuck? Next time somebody uses the line on you, well, this is America, just be like, yeah, and your country sucks dick, and walk out. 
fucking hell. I'll be there <laughs> with- to me. I was like, what the fuck? This is America, this isn't Australia. I'd rather be in Australia, bitch, and I'm from here. Yeah, she's like standing there, like, I don't know how your country works, but fucking this is America. If you don't like it, leave. I'm like, what the fuck? Alright, bitch, you have fun going back to England. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. That bitch was fucking... She was not having it at all. She was like... You know what's funny? She was like so nice until we gave her a tip. Like, we weren't even gonna give her a tip. It's just she was so nice. They gave her a fucking five dollar tip because they thought they would be nice. And then well, we got that fucking talking to it, She got that bitchy because in America that's a really low tip for a hundred dollar bill. Like, if you were to have a bill that high, usually, it would... Well, you're from another country. You don't understand how the hell that works. In America, it's basically... If you don't tip, you're considered an asshole. Which is why I'm one of the people which, yeah, you can shoot me for this, but I believe that tips are retarded. Yeah, well, fucking, we do too. Like, like we weren't tipping, like, fuck. We were tipping some of the tax drivers. Some of the tax drivers pretty cool, but... Yeah, well, like, fucking... It's just like, yeah... Yeah, we did not. We, like, we, we just walked, got out of the taxis and shit sometimes and just walked out from the bars and shit and fucking, like, when we were having lunch and stuff and didn't. And if ever somebody, because, yeah. if you ever come back to America again and they demand a tip, you don't give them one. Because you know what? If somebody's like, well, in America we tip, what you need to tell them is, I don't tip assholes. No, like, I'm being dead serious. If somebody's a douchebag, I'm not tipping you. I've gone in the restaurant before. Yeah, you can call me an asshole for this, but she was the biggest bitch ever. She fucked up my order seven times. Seven fucking times. She gave me the wrong drink three times, and she tried to overcharge my bill $12. And I talked to the owner. We cleared everything up. She gave me the bill, I paid the bill and walked out, and the owner was like, you're not tipping her, and I said, sir, she fucked shit up so bad, she ain't getting a goddamn tip. I never went back. Yeah, well, fucking... I literally just yeah, watched I, two NPCs I, crash I, each yeah. other. I literally just watched a Mazda take a BMW out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but wait, so how much do waitresses earn them if they demand a fucking tip? Uh, three thirty-two an hour. Oh, that's fucking shit. Yeah, but that's because that's like, they make I tips. Think, I don't think anyone can get paid that low in Australia. Like, people earn too much money in Australia. That's the problem about Australia. Is why it costs so much in Australia. It's because people earn way too much money. What's your uh, minimum wage there? Ah, uh, fuck, I, I wouldn't know, you'd have to search that yourself, but fucking, just people earn way too much money in here. Because uh, our minimum wage in America is about $8.30, and waitresses make yeah, three something. Yeah. I'm probably wrong about saying like three thirty two, but it's $3 something search, an search hour. Your, search your ass out. Alright, give me a sec. Search your ass yeah, I know it's definitely $5. Because be like twenty dollars. I used to work at a restaurant where girls were taking home five, six hundred dollars at night. What? Really? Uh, yeah, and that, tips. that's why girls like tipping. Because if you flash a little tip, men will drop a heavy tip on you. And that's also why I think tips are kinda stupid, because if you're a man, you're basically getting but, fucked unless you're serving a bunch of horny old women. Yeah, but don't usually don't like all places usually split their tips? Um, that depends on if they want to do it. Huh. So what, these bitches were just walking away from $5 a night? Holy shit! Like $3 an hour. $18.29 an hour, you lucky motherfuckers. Hold on. $18.29 Australian into American. $13.14. That's what I just make. I don't even actually make that. Your guys' minimum wage is more than I make now, and I thought making $12.75 an hour was a lot of money. You motherfuckers. 
You lucky sons of bitches. Honest, I don't think, to be honest, I don't think minimum. I, I, to be honest, I really reckon it's like twenty dollars. I don't think it's eighteen. Like fucking, I don't know any. I has. think it's twenty four dollars. No, fucking the only person, the only person I know that gets paid eighteen dollars an hour is is a loser. And he's on Xbox. Yeah, but an Xbox and he's that's a lot of dollars. money. That's more money than our minimum wage. I could go to Australia, work at a fucking McDonald's, and be better off than I am here. Yeah. God damn. Yes, that's so true. <laughs> Like, you could work a pretty shit job over here to get paid fucking a little bit over the minimum wage. I think I'm going to move to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everything's so cheap in America. I know, but... And everything's so expensive over here. But here's the thing, though. You guys see your minimum wage? Work in Australia for a couple of years, come back. Or just order everything from there with free shipping. <laughs> yeah, but fucking yeah, Australia's a bit fucked right now. Like just the whole world's like fucked. It's gonna be fucked real soon. The whole world. The whole world is useless. Everybody needs to just die. Yeah. Let's let let's let Thanos snap his fingers. Fifty percent of the population just needs to die already. I am honestly, I, I'm probably the horrible person you're going to meet that agrees with Thanos saying destroy half of all the population of everything. Because you know what? That's honestly not the worst idea I've ever heard. Yeah, but fucking good old Australia. I, I love Australia. I think it's like I, I, I've out of all, I've been to Europe. I've been to America now. I guess Las Vegas. Even though I didn't like, I can I can't really say much of America. Even though I've only been to Las Vegas, I can't really say much, talk much about America because I haven't really seen it. I've only been to Las Vegas, and I thought it was fucking shit. That uh, well, you know, I like SEMA. SEMA. SEMA was like really fucking. Good. I love SEMA, but fucking Las Vegas. I just thought the Las Vegas the place. If I didn't go there for SEMA, I would have had a shit time. Las Vegas is one of the worst places in America. Yeah, I, I would have loved to go into like Colorado or some place. You should have. Some place like in America. Yeah, but fucking. Oh, because we had to. We flew Canada. So we flew to Canada and then we flew to Las Vegas. But we, we didn't get out of the airport in Canada. Canada, from looking outside the airport, was pretty nice. Canada is basically cool. just... Canada is metric America. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. Well, I look at Canada as being America, too. Even though Canada is a whole different country. I, just, I look at Canada being Canada. The place, it's just, like, so green. Like, it's, like, so nice and green and fresh. It's, just, it's like, so nice. It's because it's not America. It's so nice and fresh. Yeah, it's just, like, so nice. Here's the easiest way to know why. Canada, it just is in America. Boom. Problem solved. Mm. <laughs> and, your, oh, and your American food shit. Not if you go to the right place. Well, I guess... Well, fucking... I don't. Right was, where did you go for food? Yeah, fucking Denny's. Um, some really fucking like retarded steakhouse, which is where that bitch like got off us. Some buffet place. Some fucking. Well, some that's place. why you went to the. You, pretty nice. you went to the cheap places yeah. in America. You go to somewhere cheap in America, everything's crap. We went. Oh, uh, the only cheap place we went to was Denny's. It was the only cheap place. I thought Australian food tastes better. America, you get more like fucking quantity, like a way a lot more food than what you pay for. Yeah. Like compared to in Australia, but fucking, I think Australian food's nicer. I was expecting American food to be like real fucking awesome, but yeah. Some American food is good. Most is just terrible. 
I fucking like actually had to sit on the toilet every night from fucking America, from Las Vegas. <laughs> but fucking. Crazy shit. America, yeah, the country yeah. that gives you the shits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but fucking. Europe, Europe wasn't too like France. Was fucking shit. Never go to like. Never go to France. Don't even waste your time going there. Don't go to Italy. That's shit. France and Italy, shit. Switzerland is pretty good, and Riga in Latvia is pretty good. The only place I've been in in, in Europe. They're pretty good, but fucking France is just like. Don't even fucking waste your time going there. It's really a big shit hole. It's like the same level as Las Vegas, I reckon. So basically. France is the butthole of Europe. Yeah, France is the Las Vegas. Of <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. I've never heard it said like that before. Italy's like just a little bit less shit, but it's so shit. Italy like, is pro Italy's probably gonna remind me a lot of Youngstown, just with a lot more water. Cause Youngstown in Ohio and Pet. Ohio and Pennsylvania, there's a lot of Italian families. Yeah, but fucking to be honest, I don't think I've been to a place yet that's better than Australia. I, I want to go. Truly don't. I don't want to act like anything, but I just don't think I've been to a place better than Australia. I want to go to. This is because I live here, and I think it's the best place ever. But oh, I live in America, and I think America is the worst place on the planet. Yeah. So I don't think it's just you. I to be honest, I don't think I'm... I don't think I'd rather live anywhere else but Australia. Queensland, Australia. You have arrived at your destination. Queensland is the best state in Australia. <laughs> yeah, if you ever go to Australia, go to Queensland. I'm gonna have to now. You just be a backpacker. What do you mean by that? You don't. Have you ever heard of a backpacker? No, I've never heard that term used before. You travel like around the world for free. You work. You work around the world. Oh. You travel the world for free, but but you pay to travel the world by working. Like like you could be out in random places. That makes you sense. Fucking backpack around, just yeah. Like you fucking. You um work for someone or whatever, and you know, they could supply your rental house, or like a house or something, or like an apartment to live in, or or a room to stay at, or fucking yeah, whatever. Or you fucking just yeah work to pay for a fucking hotel room or something. It makes sense. The travel. That's what lots of people do. You'd be a backpacker. Ah, two hours. I don't think fucking. I'd want to do that only because I'd just be fucking like I wouldn't want to go by myself to a country like fucking I don't, I don't have like bigger balls. I'm not cool with like fucking traveling by myself. I'm quite a loner. I don't fit in with much of society. <laughs> like I was the kids. Yeah, I was the kid that sat in the back of the classroom and everybody thought, is he going to shoot up the school? <laughs> Dead ass. I was the kid with the hood up, always being told by the teacher, you need to take your hood off. Eat shit, bitch. Do you want to go see the principal? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, one time I went to see the principal. He was like, are you having problems at home? Yes, my father beats me and my mother rapes me. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, is that serious? Yeah, I did. 
He was like, are you being serious? I said, no, but you see, you believe me, which means you have a problem. <laughs> he, no, seriously, that's what's wrong with America. Everybody always assumes something's going on at home or something's wrong with the kid. No, maybe it's the education system is absolute shit. I don't know any point. Fuck, I don't understand. I don't understand why it would be shit like the education system, but yeah. We are one of the wealthiest countries in the world. And we are the dumbest. <laughs> so either. Yeah, fucking Americans just come across as dumb. Just watching videos of Americans in it, like, like I always see the fucking Americans dumb. We are when stupid! <laughs> When I was in America, I was, I was sitting there waiting for a plane, and these cunts behind me went to SEMA, and those cunts like sitting there, and they were sitting there talking about cars with each other, and I thought they were the dumbest cunts ever, just by what was coming out of the mail. Like, oh my god, did you see that place. car? It was like the most powerful V8 ever built. Oh my god, Becky, I know. Yeah, they were saying, Fucking they were saying <laughs> some dumb shit, just some dumb shit. That's just like, some... You, like, you like know your shit, like, you like say some... Like, you say facts. These cunts were talking some dumb shit. So they were just talking out their ass to seem dumb. smart. Yeah, yeah, they were, like, talking about, like, shit they don't even know, like, anything about. Like, they were talking about, oh, yeah, cams, I just got cams and this, oh, yeah. Oh, like, dual yeah, overhead cams. Oh, my or God. If you, or, or if you turbo, if you turbo a stock, a stock LS engine, you'll get a thousand horsepower. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you turbo! <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm just sitting there like, these cunts fucking idiots. You turbo! I literally laughed at myself. Oh my god. Literally, that's what they said. One of them said that. And I was like, I nearly like, had to turn around and tell them to shut the fuck up. I nearly did that, I swear to god. I nearly turned around and told them to shut the fuck up. I turboed a stock LS. I made a thousand horsepower. So, what happened to the block? Did you melt it yet, you dumb bitch? Damn. And the cunt, and the cunt was like... And the cop was like, yeah, yeah. Um, they were like, one of them was like to him, oh, so what do you do? He's like, oh, yeah, I, I have like a, I just bought a milling machine from SEMA for $15,000 and I, and I do a bunch of work in the back of my house for people, but I also have a, have a, have a, um, like a company shop down in Seoul, so, like, fucking wherever, state. Um, Salt Lake City? What the no, he was like saying, oh yeah, no, I have Texas, he was like, oh yeah, I've got a shop, I've got like a, a shop down in Texas, but I live in Canada, I'm like sitting there like, how the, don't you care, you're a fucking loser, fuck, <laughs> they're just trying <laughs> to, the shit that, like the cunt was literally talking the most shit I've ever heard, <laughs> I've never heard more shit come out of this cunt's mouth ever, <laughs> and it's this little fucking Asian cunt sitting next to him going, oh, so, like sucking his cock, <laughs> 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 they were like, oh, just the shit they were talking about, like, maybe cringe so hard. Oh. Yeah, but fucking America's a bit different. That's America, though, if you're not trying to impress... Oh, but, but this cunt, this cunt was the guy that was talking, like, the, this guy sort of like, had half an idea what was coming out of his mouth, but... But fucking, he was still retarded. But he was he was a New Zealander, but lived in Canada. And um, yeah, just the Americans he was talking to were like fucking. That's because Canadians or Americans were just fucking gay. Basically, here's he a, was a faggot too. He was a dickhead. Here's America in a nutshell for you. Either you're getting your dick sucked or you're sucking dick. Either way, you're getting fucked. <laughs> that's fucking. That's so true. <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. I mean. <laughs> that is like so fucking true. Cause all you have to do is say the yeah, right so lingo right. and everybody will suck your dick. <clears throat> yeah, I was just sitting there. I was just listening to what this, this cop was talking about. They were, they were just sitting there fucking Why just riding them. They were just sitting there fucking riding them. And I was like, just, what the fuck? I was just. I was like, oh my god, this guy's a dumb cunt. You ever want to make a ton of fans yeah, in America? I'm mad. You ever want to make a bunch of people want to blow you? Come to America and say Turbo LS and everybody gets wet. Yeah, I was, I was, like, the shit, the stupid shit that was coming out of his mouth. Like, he didn't know what he was talking about. And fucking, oh, he, he did not know what he was talking about. 
He was like trying to act like so cocky and big. Like he was just trying to act like he was so big. He was like, acting he was like he had a big dick. Because he has to go back home to his mama yeah, with his acting. Prius. He's just acting like, like fucking so trying to act so big and everything while he was talking to these dickheads. And they're all just sitting there around him just sucking his dick. They're just randoms. You never even met before. They just started talking to them. And then another cunt. I don't know if he was just talking to these cunts. And then another cunt joined in. He's like, yeah, yeah. I work on um, Ford. Fords and um, make them go pretty quick. And yeah. Yeah, but Fords go, still go pretty quick. And But yeah, I used to be on the Ford team for racing. And fucking just another cunt jumps in there. Another cunt jumps in. And fucking yeah, though. Next thing I knew, there was about four of the dumb cunts talking to each other. It started off with two. And everybody in America and just has. Jumps in. Everybody in America just has to show off to each other. Like everybody is always like, "Oh, what do you drive? What do you drive to me?" And I'm just like Toyota Corolla. Why don't you drive something more exciting? Uh, why don't you mind your own damn business, bitch? I don't have to drive something fast to know what I'm talking about. I can drive something slow and fuel efficient just because a I'm poor. And B, fuck off, it's my reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even I don't even have a car technically yet. My Ford F one hundred won't be running for fucking ages, it just sits there. Or board a car. So I don't even have a car. I've got Well my mum's got a car, I just drive her old car with the Ford Falcon. Well that's still a pretty cool car, even in only six cylinders. Those are really cool cars. Yeah, that's right, see. Yeah. Yeah, well I just drive that. But like it's there's no point me buying a car and fuck, I'll just drive that thing. No one else drives it, and when I get off my B plates, I'll buy a V8, like, like a Commodore. I could daily drive a Commodore, but fucking. Yeah. If you, I can pick up a fucking Commodore Ute for like $10,000. 10 grand. That's not Ute, bad. 6,000, 7,000. Yeah. Manual, 6 liter. What's the low one? You guys in Australia really oh, seem to like the LS2. In America, we really didn't like it. Um, yeah, well, we... Oh, most of our... There's probably more six liters in our cars than um, anything else. Yeah, probably. Six liters in LS1s. We don't have very many LS1s. We have more LS3s than LS1s and 2s. We have very, very few LS2s. <laughs> yeah, LS3s, like... Probably, like for a car with all this man, so just probably a couple more thousand dollars, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'll get. Fucking, I'll look around. I want a Malou, but I think I'll get one of them. That's probably a bit, bit, bit too ex more expensive, what I want. Try to find like a 2005. Exactly. I don't have any money. Oh, uh, no, I want like a 2009, like a DE Malou. That's oh. Like, that's a model. I like that one. That was the one when we got the Pontiac G8. Yeah. But the one thing I was always sad about was um, when we had the GTO, we basically had your base, your top of the line car with the six liter and everything, the six liter, six speed and everything, but with the base model's body kit. Because I see the GTO. Was that a two door? Yes. It was the Monaro. Yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. They're called Monaros up here. And also, we had those real rare one over here called a Coupe 4, and it was all wheel drive. Ooh! It was a, a two door. Yeah, it was all wheel drive, six liter. That's kind of cool. Those, they're fucking really, like, they're really rare over here, but fucking, and really expensive. I can understand they're why. They're this car right now. Very expensive. Yeah, but all drive. The one I want is I want a Voxel Monaro VXR, which they have one in this game, and that's because I love the body kit. Yeah, I've got that in this game. It's quick. It's quick. On this game, that car's quick. I swapped the LS7 into it. Yeah, same. Twin turbo. I haven't done twin turbos. I still have it at just 505 horsepower. I'll be right back.
power Still alive? Oh. Uh, you there? It says you left the convoy. Yeah, if I can, I'm on YouTube now. I was just sitting there talking. I might be logging off soon so I can try to get a little bit of sleep before I go do some shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll fucking pop on sleep. <laughs> alright, well, I'll hit you up later then, man, alright? Yeah, I can. See you later. Peace.